welcome you all this is dr megla associate professor department of genetic engineering srm institute of science and technology chennai would like to present a video on estimation of total proteins from unknown as well as from food source elements by laudis method hope the video will be helpful to the viewers as it covers the basic information on proteins principal involved in laudis experiments procedure and analysis of results proteins were said to be the major structural component of both animal and human tissue they act as a biological catalyst that are participates in very cellular reaction act as a molecules of immunity and serves as a fuel for energy in addition to laudis method there are other method to quantify the protein which were biuret and bafor in life science research in various areas such as molecular biology cellular biology and cancer biology all these methods are 100 fold more sensitive than determining the protein directly in absorbance at 218 nanometer quantitative determination of total protein by laudis method is one of the most commonly used calorimetric assays developed by oliver laudi in 1940 this is the best method where we can estimate the total protein concentration from 0.01 to 1 mg per ml the principle behind this method involves two reactions leading to color complex formation firstly the cupric ions of the reaction mixture reacts with the peptide bond in the alkaline condition resulting in cuprous ion formation secondly the phenolic group of amino acid residues such as tyrosine and tryptophan will produce a blue color complex and this is due to the reduction of phosphomolybdenum tungstate to heterophosphomolybdenum blue by the copper catalyzed oxidation of amino acid the reaction will be carried out in alkaline ph between 9 and 10.5 the concentration of the reduced fallen phenol reagent is measured by the absorbance at 640 nanometer to a maximum absorbance of 750 nanometer the material required to carry out the experiments were complex forming reagent which involves solution a solution b and solution c fallen phenol reagent in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is prepared well before the use of the experiment standard bsa solution of concentration 1 mg per ml were used unknown protein sample and protein from food source sample where we used almond here and test tubes in sufficient number a calorimeter to measure the absorbance estimation of total protein by laudis method involves the following table it is best for the viewers to make such a kind of table before you start the experiment the details provided in the tables were volume of working standard volume of unknown solution volume of distilled water volume of alkaline copper reagent volume of fallen phenol the contents were mixed well and kept at room temperature for 30 minutes and the blue color developed is red at 640 nanometer as i mentioned earlier the procedure involved in the experiment is that take a series of test tubes labeled s1 to s5 for the working standard and t1 and t2 for unknown protein and the protein from food source in the test tube labeled s1 to s5 take the working standard solution in the range of 0.2 to 1 ml and for unknown protein sample in the tube labeled t1 of 0.2 ml and in the test tube labeled t2 take 0.4 ml of the food source make all the tubes including the blank 
with 1 ml of distilled water, followed by which add 4.5 ml of complex forming reagent to all the tubes and incubate the tube at room temperature for 10 minutes. This then followed by addition of 0.5 ml of fallen phenol reagent to all the tubes and incubate the tube at room temperature for 30 minutes. And after incubation, the color developed is red at absorbance at 640 nanometer. Obtaining the optical density at 640 nanometer, it is necessary to make a standard graph having optical density at 640 nanometer in the y-axis and concentration of BSA in microgram per mm in x-axis. By plotting the graph of OD versus the protein concentration, it is possible for the viewers to determine the total protein from the unknown as well as the food source sample. In our case, it is possible for us to determine the concentration of the unknown protein and it was found to be 527.8 microgram per ml. And for food source protein sample, we found 334.4 microgram per ml from standard graph. Hope we believe that the viewers were able to understand how the experiment to be carried out for estimating the total protein by Lowry's method for unknown protein sample as well as the food source sample. Thanks for watching the video.